Now you can also order your favorite Gattu Chinki's favorite toys from our website. Link is in the description. Gattu Chinki's good habits. We all know that children learn good and bad habits by watching. But sometimes it becomes necessary for children to learn to differentiate between good and bad habits. Today, a guest lecture has been organized in the school. All the children are waiting for him and then he entered the class. The motivator was very young and he had some books and a big tab in his hand and the children got very excited seeing him. Good morning everyone. Today I will discuss with everyone about good habits and bad habits. First of all you all will tell me about your good habits. Let's start with you. Sir extended his hand towards Bunty and suddenly Bunty was asked to speak and Bunty started hesitantly. My, uh, my good good habit is I, I like to eat chocolates. The class laughed at Bunty's answer. Okay, next. Mom and Dad says that completing school homework is my good habit. Sir, let me share one more good habit of Gattu. Yes, of course. Sir, Gattu's good habit is that he always helps me doing my homework. And many times, Gattu completes my entire homework. Yes, yes, sir. So many times I have completed Chinky's homework. Look, kids. All of you told me your good habits. But see here, Gattu completes Chinky's homework along with his own, which Gattu is calling a good habit. It will be a good habit for Gattu, but it is not a good habit for Chinky at all. Rather, it would be called a bad habit. Everyone started listening to Sir carefully. We should all do our works by ourselves. Come on, kids. Let me tell you my story. As a child, both my brother and I had a habit of eating chocolates. But sir, eating chocolates is a good habit, isn't it? Yes, son. But we would ask for chocolates from the guests. Then our father told us, if we want chocolates, then we should go to the garden and water the plants first. Only then we will get chocolates and at that time our house was on 7th floor. We would come down from the 7th floor for chocolates, water the plants and then only get chocolates. The children were listening carefully to Sir. In this way, when we got chocolate every day, we got bored of eating chocolates and later we stopped eating chocolates. But we got into the habit of watering plants and we have been watering our garden till this date. This is how we got into a good habit. All the children were listening to the Sir so attentively that all the children clapped for him. After the guest lecture was over, all the children started discussing with each other about good and bad habits. Grandma always says that if we have good habit, we become successful in life. Now, just like Sir, I will also water the plants every day. Only then I will eat chocolate. In this way, I will also get into a good habit, but I will not give up eating chocolates. Everyone laughed at Bunty's statement. Yes, we should always be like a good child. We should not bother our parents too much. Well, well said, Chinky. The next morning, Gattu and Chinky got up early and sat on the bed before mom got up and started worshipping the earth. Mom came out of the kitchen after hearing the voices of Gattu and Chinky. Oh wow, Gattu Chinky! You got up early and you both prayed together? What's the matter? Gattu and Chinky got down from the bed and went straight to their mom and hugged. Mom got happy on this gesture of Gattu and Chinky. Gattu and Chinky took a bath and got ready. Today, mom did not have to chase after Gattu and Chinky. Without saying anything, Gattu and Chinky got ready quickly. Gattu and Chinky were sitting at the breakfast table. Mom hands over a glass of milk to both Gattu and Chinky. Gattu Chinky, don't pretend to drink milk like every day. You both have to finish the milk like good kids. Yes, mom. Let me finish now. Gattu and Chinky both finished their glasses of milk in no time. Mom and dad were surprised to see this. 
What's the matter, get to Chinky? Huh? Both of you are behaving like good children. I am very happy to see you both behave like this today. Thank you, Dad. It is a good habit to listen to elders. Now we will finish our milk like this every day, and we will not bother you. Very good, get to and Chinky. But son, every day you leave after ten minutes. Yes, Mom. But we have to reach school before time. This is a good habit. because of which we will not be late in school see how intelligent my children are gattu chinki left for school with dad gattu chinki returned home in the evening both of them put their school bags their shoes in the right place and after changing their uniforms both of them went downstairs to play similarly gattu chinki used to get up early every day finish their milk and then after studying well in school they would go to play after returning in the evening Chinky, there is time before we leave for school, so let's watch TV. Yes, Gattu, there is time, and a new cartoon show has also come on the TV. Let's watch. Gattu Chinky sat in front of the TV and left for school with father when it was time to go to the school. Mom noticed Gattu and Chinky. Every day, Gattu Chinky would get up early, sit in front of the TV as soon as they get up. When it was time for school, they would leave for school. Today again, Gattu Chinky sat in front of the TV before school. Gattu Chinky, why are you children spoiling your habit by sitting in front of the TV early in the morning? What, Mom? You too. We get up so early, and then there is time to go to school, so we watch TV. This would spoil our habit. Yes, Mom. We are watching TV only in the remaining time. Son, habit is the name of that behavior. which becomes a habit when done every day and it becomes a part of a routine what do you mean mom son if you wake up early and sit in front of the tv every day you will get used to this thing and you won't be able to go to school without watching tv due to which your habit will be spoiled better read some school books than this due to which you will get used to reading in the morning oh yes mom when the teacher teaches in the school Only the cartoon show goes in the mind. Chinky understood my point very well. Gatu, do you understand? Got it, Mom. We should make good use of morning time. Getting up early is a good habit, but watching TV early morning is a bad habit. Okay, Mom. From now, we will not continue this habit. Thank you so much, Mom. Hey, son. You don't have to thank you, your mom. Mom, our teacher has taught us that it is good habit to say thank you when someone helps you. Mom laughed at this. <laughs> good habit makes a person successful, and bad habit makes failure. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them, and subscribe.